Number 15. The electric field strength between two parallel conducting plates separated by 4 centimeters is 7.5 times 10 to the 4 volts per meter. Letter A. What is the potential difference between the two plates? All right, so you got two plates here, and they're separated by a distance of, they told us, 4 centimeters. So let's convert that right away to meters, so 0.04 right, meters. It tells us then that the um, electric field strength between them, so I'm going to write E, is going to be equal to 7.5 times 10 to the 4th volts per meter. Okay, great. And it wants to know the potential difference between those two plates. In other words, it wants to know the voltage. Okay, between those two plates. So the voltage between plate A, we'll call it here, and plate B. All right. So we need a formula. Okay. So we know that the voltage between the voltage between the two plates, or two points, A and B, will be equal to then the electric field strength between those two plates or points multiplied by the distance between those two plates or two points. So the voltage here will be equal to then simply the electric field strength 7.5 times 10 to the fourth multiplied by that distance of 0 0.04. So let's throw that on into the calculator. So we get 7.5 times 10 to the fourth times 0.04 and we get about 3000. So we get 3000, 3000 volts. Okay. So that is the potential difference between the two plates. Letter B. The plate with the lowest potential is taken to be zero volts. What is the potential one centimeter from that particular plate, and which would be three centimeters from the other? So it says that, uh, let's just assume plate A, I guess, is zero volts, and therefore uh, it says the plate with the lowest potential is taken to be zero volts, and therefore letter B, uh, letter B, the plate at letter B, uh, would be 3,000 volts, okay? What they want us to do is they want us to find the potential uh, one centimeter from the zero voltage plate. So in other words, you have to find the voltage here. Okay. And remember that it is one centimeter, one centimeter from the zero potential plate. And then it's going to be three centimeter from the other. So forget about all the math. Let's just think about it. If you know that it's zero volts at A, 3,000 volts at B, then there must be some continuum in terms of voltage that's decreasing going from B to A. So it turns out that how could we figure, how can we find then the potential at that point? Well, we know that it's proportional. So meaning as the distance is changing, the change in the distance here is going to be proportional to the change then in the voltage. In other words, if I told you that the halfway point here, okay, between the two plates was 1500 volts, how could you, what, you know, at this point, any point there between the two plates, how could you then find the voltage basically three quarters now away from the 3000 uh, volts? I think you kind of see it, right? It just would be one fourth of the 3000. So it'd basically be for letter B, it'd be one fourth of the 3000. And what does that turn out to be? So one fourth of 3000, so 3000 times one divided by four, hmm, 750. And that should hopefully make sense. 750 volts, right? If it were closer, right? It, the 3000 volt plate is further away from this point than this point. And like I was mentioning, they're proportional. So, I mean, that's all. Cool. Okay. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.